Welcome to today's video lesson. We're going to learn how to use the modes on the Barkless Pro BP504. Hello, Mr. Bob from Bob's Pet Stop in home dog behavior training. I'm excited to talk about this new product that it can potentially be very helpful for you if you have problems with nuisance barking or obsessive barking. So I hope you stay tuned and enjoy today's video lesson. Okay, welcome back. Now my goal in today's lesson is not to discuss barker breaker collars. If you have questions, you can certainly reach out to me and contact me via my website at bobspetstop.com for more information about barker collars or even remote trainers or invisible fence collars. But this particular system that we're talking about today is of course the BP504 Barkless Pro Training Collar. This is a great system and there's plenty of information to learn about the system and all the options that it offers for you. Just see the description links below and you can review those video lessons put together by the owner himself. Today's lesson is really more about walking you through how to change the modes. Now if you need help specifically setting up your dog's training then maybe you can reach out to me again through the Bob's Pet Stop website, set up a, a lesson with me virtually and I'll explain in detail virtually how to use your barker collar. In most cases, these collars are really good for nuisance barking or obsessive barking, but not for every dog. Sometimes there's situations where dogs are going through some stress behaviorally and you need to work through their behavioral problems before you just put a collar on the dog thinking that's the answer. This is just a tool in your toolbox. I endorse these collars and most e-collars when they're used correctly. So with that said, let's take a peek on how to use the operation and hope you enjoy the video lesson. And again, please check out the links below. If you want to set up your dog training lesson specifically with me, we will get that virtual lesson up and running and you'll learn how to use your Barkless Pro Barker Collar. Turn the collar upside down. This is how you want to look at the display in order to see what the numbers are saying. Now, when you're trying to toggle through the displays, you're going to hit the top control button here, right there, and you're going to hit that. But when you hit it again, it's going to go to L, and we have it set for L2. Now, if I wanted to change that set, hold it down. Now, as you can see, it's blinking, which means I can change it. So, I can go to L4, L5, 6, 7, 8. Now if you go to L9, that means we're going to put it in the auto mode, but we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to set it. So L0 means the dog feels no stimulation. L1 is the lowest, and this is where I would start with your dog training for a couple of days. And then after two or three days, you check the bark counter and see how many times the dog activated the collar, and then you make that adjustment. So we're just going to bring this back to L1. That's what we're going to use for the first few days. Now I'm going to hold it down again and lock it into place. And now it's no longer blinking and it's locked in place. If we toggle it again, it's going to go to L. Now this L here means the sensitivity level. Typically L is where we're going to start with when we have large barking dogs. But if I wanted to change that to medium barking dogs, and that's supposed to be an M, that's how we're going to set it. The next one would be high, high sensitivity for dogs who have very low barking or almost no barking. So the collar can detect the lowness of the bark and that can be a little confusing. So uh, let me toggle through and get back to that. I didn't respond quick enough. I'm going to hold that down. It's blinking, which means I can bring it back to low. And we're going to hold that again and lock it into place. Good job. We're going to keep on toggling through. That's O. As you can see, the right reason why it's O is because the tone is on. If I didn't want the tone on, I'd just put on the off or on. I'm going to leave it in the on position. Hold that down. Now it's locked into the on tone position. This one is T. This is the only time you see this when you're testing the collar to see if, in fact, that it works. 
So back to the beginning, this is the bark counter. It tells you how many activations, and each time you go through a test with your dog, you want to turn the collar off and then turn the collar back on to reset this back to zero. So each time you leave, you can count how many times the dog activated the collar. Toggling through, level one, low sensitivity setting. O means on for tone, so every time the dog barks, the dog can hear the tone. T for test, and here we go. And that's really all there is to it. Just make sure that you're always holding the collar this way in order to read. Otherwise, if you turn it upside down and you try to read the display counter, you'll see it's hard to understand. It looks like a 17 there, okay? And then there's a 7. And then there's a zero, and like, what is all this? And we don't know what that is, because the collar needs to be upside down. And that is the best way to learn how to toggle through these settings. There's only five toggles, and you just have to remember, that each time you get to whatever toggle that you're looking for, you need to hold it down for a couple seconds so it blinks, and blinking means it's ready to go. You make the adjustment, you hold it down again to lock it in so it's no longer blinking. Right now I have it on the long probes. I prefer using long for almost every dog unless the dog has a short coat or very sensitive skin like a, maybe a pit bull or a Dalmatian. And of course this boot here, I put this boot right on there because we want to make sure that it's all the same height as you can see, it's the same height, and that's really, really important. By the end of the day, when you take the collar off, you want to turn it off. When we turn it off, we're going to hold it and press this button for five seconds. Make sure you hear that noise, because if you hear other beeps, that doesn't mean the collar's off. And that was also confusing to one of my clients. So let me do that again. We're going to turn it on. It's on. We're going to turn it off. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Five seconds to turn it off. So please make sure that's what you do each and every time. Well, I hope you found that helpful and informative. Please, if you have questions, on how to use the Barkless Collar or any other electronic training device, please go on the Bob's Pet Stop website. There's a tab there, you just click that once, it's Request Services. Give me all the information, and if you're interested in setting up a virtual lesson, I'd be more than happy to book that appointment for you. The cost is $59, it's about a 40 minute session, you wanna make sure you have your notes. We we'll even re audio record the lesson, so you can remember all the detailed information for your particular dog's training needs. And that's all throughout the United States. So until our next dog training lesson, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this. And please take your time with your dog training and enjoy.